What's up everybody, it's your man Jay Philp from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com. If this is your first time, welcome and welcome to another edition of Dilla Inspired Beat Techniques. So let's get into it. <laughs> Seeing how it's February 7th, 2017, which is the birthday of Dilla, I thought it'd be appropriate to do this. So in the comments below, if you were to meet Ma Dukes, which is Jay Dilla's mother, what would you say to her? Write that down in the comments. You never know. She might actually see this video. You never know. I don't know. <laughs> I would simply say, thank you. What would you say? Write it down in the comments below. In this tutorial, I want to discuss a question that was given to me not too long ago, and I thought, Maybe someone else might have this question or maybe it will inspire somebody else or help them. So the question is from the homie Muhammad Hosh. Hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what he did on track four versus You Can't Hold the Torch. It's the same sample of Inside My Love, but the sound is way different. I know there's filtering involved, but what else did he do? Much appreciated. So if you have no idea what those songs are, I'm going to play, first let me play Can't Hold the Torch, just a piece of it. Both of these tracks were produced by Dilla. Alright, here we go. All right, so now let's play track four. Let's go. Okay, so here's the difference. The one you just heard, the last one, track four, he's actually playing keys. Dilla could play instruments. So he actually played the keys, and then at the very end of the song, the real sample kind of fades in, like filtered. Now with Can't Hold the Torch, the Busta Rhymes joint, that's the straight sample. And then he added a bass line. So that's the difference. So in this video, I want to talk about how you can kind of manipulate and be inspired off of several different samples. And matter of fact, since we're talking about that mini Ripperton sample, for those that don't know, I'm going to take a different piece out of it and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Inside My Love. Here, here's my chop right here. Right? So that's actually after the, it's right after the sample that everyone's familiar with. I first noticed it with Tribe Called Quest. Lyrics to go. So right after, I'll play it again. I decided to make a beat off of that. So what I did was chop that up. And these are my chops. And I pitched them down. So you'll hear it here like this. Right? And I pitched... That's all I did. And then put a beat with it. And then added a bass line with it. Okay, so nothing too complicated. Then what Dilla also did like I said before was he played keys so I decided to play the keys and sample myself playing keys over here on Supreme and I took that same sample listen I came over to Supreme and played these you see what I'm saying and that's all I did I just played them in there and if you, if you can't play keys, it's all good. Trust me, I've been saying this a lot lately, but it's coming. I'm going to show you how to play keys. If you don't know how to play keys at all, 
I'm coming with a free instructional, keyboard piano instructional for y'all. Anyway, I played this and sampled them and pitched them down. And show you an example of how you can just come up with different, different beats with the same sample. Alright, so here we go. Let's play a beat, different beat. So that's just an example of manipulating samples. Example of manipulating samples. <laughs> you can either chop up or play keys and record sample yourself and do it that way. If you can't play keys, learn. Learn the instrument. Learn. If it's not keys, learn guitar. I will say this to the day I die. It will be beneficial if you learn how to play an instrument. Once again, I am about to drop a keyboard instructional for y'all for free. Again, free. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video, man. Peace and positive energy. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. More to come. Check out all the links down below this video. And I appreciate everybody stopping by. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.